Hello, beautiful people. We have our lovely, three of our lovely, wonderful, talented mediums, healers, etc. Here to do what you all have been waiting for. The 2024 predictions, at least. All right, now. So we will put all their information on the screen. But let me tell you, this is all, all these answers are quantum probabilities. You know, like you have a thought, I am going to take out the trash in five minutes. Okay, that's 90%. But then all of a sudden you get distracted and all of a sudden it's like that goes to, and you just don't want to do it at all. And you want to wait till your husband gets home and he, he'll do it. That goes to zero and another quantum probability. Comes. So people's thoughts, the thoughts of individuals and collectives can change um, things that happen. And even timelines can change as well. We can jump from one timeline to the next. We're going to have a session on that. So in other words, if whatever doesn't come true, don't don't complain about it. Don't email. <laughs> I'd like to see you do a better job. And if you do, I'm going to send Eric to haunt you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. He loves you guys. He loves you guys. Anyway. He's going to. Yeah, I don't know. He's going to. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Eric. I love you, baby. You I love you. I heard I love you, Mom. Aww. All right. Quite, we got 59 questions. We're not going to be able to go through all of them. But anyway, number one, New Earth in 2024. What does it look like? And do our lives change on all levels? It depends on the person. Obviously. Right. Um, what Eric's telling me. Oh, sorry, guys. Um, no, yeah, he's okay. telling me we are living it. People are living in multiple realities right now, always, right? But 2024, for some people, will be an experience like New Earth. And for some people, it will not be. So what is important to keep in mind here is keep working on your own personal, do your work, work on your own vibration, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. All right. What, what does the New Earth look like in 2024? I'm hearing that like the whole the whole new earth thing, like are we talking like what does it look like when it's done? Like when we're when we're officially I don't know. So the vibration of new earth that does not happen in twenty twenty four. Right, right. This is much further out. So like yeah. what Courtney was saying, it's this is more like what new earth is gonna look like is what is your perception of what's happening in, in your life. That it's more of a if you look at micro and macro, micro is a small scale, okay. macro is a big scale. The macro new earth, we're, it's not, we're not seeing it in 2024. So it's mm -hmm. your more, your world. Can you make your world look better? Can you raise your vibration like Courtney was saying? That's what right. I'm getting. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what I, what I was getting to is the same thing. Um, it doesn't just happen like one day we're in the old earth and the next day we're in the new earth. It's, it's a process. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's also an individual it's an individual process. Um, like um, Eric is saying, a lot of people are like, when are we ever going to have like peace on earth, which we know is never going to be 100%, right? But what he says is peace starts within, you know, each individual. Mm -hmm. And it's your journey of how you um, choose to, it's your perspective, you know, on how you choose to um, react to things and see things yeah. around you. And, and I guess, uh, and then we'll go to the next question. I guess, you know, how far along, how quickly we get to that new earth ultimately depends on how many individuals participate out of the collective mm -hmm. in their vibration. So, all right. Question two, will 2024 bring the event that many have been talking about in spiritual circles? I have no idea what that is. Does it ET related? That's, yeah. That's such a vague question. Right. Um, as far um, as the yeah. event, like I, um, I don't know if the event, like the big event, is coming in 2024. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I, I, I don't know if you guys are getting anything. I, I, well, what I'm hearing is Eric is saying that each year there's big events here and there spiritually. Because this is like the era of the awakening. Mm -hmm. So, of course, there's yes, always... But like, I know, was every... wondering... Are they asking the event that makes oh, right, everybody? Right. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Yeah. It doesn't. I I don't think so. Is what I'm sensing. Yeah. It's, it, but yes, as to what Ginger is saying, what yeah. I'm hearing is it's there's a lot more people waking up this year. Okay, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah. Where is it collected in regards to shifting to 5D, and what does that even mean? What's 5D? 
Is that just a, a higher dimension than that goes that takes you from 3D to 4D and then from 4D to 5D? It's like a higher perspective, isn't it? Like higher perspective, um, uh, um, spiritually, like okay. a spiritual perspective, I would say. Um, so I find this interesting okay. because this morning when I was in the shower, Eric was talking to me. And I did not realize that this was going to start out with all of these kind of questions. Eric, I hope you close your eyes. <laughs> so, so, um, you probably didn't. It, He's going. I'm <laughs> sitting here as, as we're talking about this thing. Oh, this is what you were talking about this morning. So the whole new earth, the whole 5D, the whole, that whole thing. He, he, when you look at what humans are still doing to other humans. There, people are still getting raped every day. People are still getting murdered every day. There are still people who are oppressing other people just because they can. So what he was saying is like, yes, we've come a long way, but all of the people who are doing these things just because they can, just because they can assert their dominance, that is what is slowing us down. Okay, mm -hmm. like this, all this stuff has to stop. The people who are doing this has to stop. It's like we're, the, the people who are kind of in the light, we're not fighting a losing battle. We are fighting a winning battle. It's yeah. just a very long battle. Mm -hmm. And and so he's mm -hmm. saying, you know, like these things that have happened since humans have walked the earth are still happening. Okay. Yeah. So in one regard, we've come a long way. And in another, we have a long way to go. Yeah. Um, so good to have a, a whole session on control and why and, and oppression uh -huh. and all that stuff i'm running it down yeah. he's he's telling me it's i agree uh he's telling me it's a long game and so yes. we are going to see shifts and again you will see more shifts like it, it's like the the planet not like the planet has already shifted into a higher dimensional consciousness and we can access that through our own personal work and through our personal vibration but as far as like planetary shifts, it's going to be long. Right. I mean, hopefully in our lifetime, but you know. Okay. Yes. Yeah. We so all have to do our own the new part. Earth, yeah. The new earth and the 5D. It's these are, this is such a huge thing that's happening. So where your focus is, where your strength is, is like in your home, in your neighborhood, raising the vibration, bringing the positive energy there. That community. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Community. Yeah. Will it be hard right. to get to the highest level of vibration in 2024? And Eric, maybe you can share some practical tips on how to get to our highest vibration. I say Samba or Zumba, or whatever you call it. <laughs> anything that raises anything that raises your yeah, anything that raises your mood. You know, anything that raises your mood. The um, the constant. Mm -hmm. He says anything you do to help somebody else is one of the mm -hmm. highest. Big. I love mm -hmm. that. Yeah. That really helps yeah. me. Plus my grandkids and, and my, my doggies. Yeah. Being around them. And he's saying, in addition to that, don't get involved in the politics. Don't get involved mm -hmm. in the news. If you're looking to raise your vibration, because this is going to be a interesting year with the yeah. election. Yes. In the United we'll, put it, we'll put it that way. We're yeah. All yeah. yeah, I got, yeah. I got that. I'm not doing it. Oh, yeah, um, doing it yeah. this also, time like I did last time. Uh -uh. One thing he's adding to is to remind people to really process their trauma and deal with their emotions Whoa. as they're coming up. To not ignore them, not suppress them. That's not the era we're in. We want to feel our emotions. We want to move yeah. through them. We want to release them and not get caught up. Um, it is hard, in, though. I mean, I remember it is hard. I'm not. I'm not saying. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no, but it's worth it. I remember. Uh, just going through the trauma of seeing you, Eric, after you put a bullet through your head, it was just so awful. Oh. And I had to, I had to force myself to just re relive those steps or those images over and over and over again. That's the only way you you, you can sort of let the emotional charge on it sort of drip away, mm -hmm. pull away. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there is something to like an exposure type of therapy for some people. Like the more you do it the less power it has over yeah. you but it's not for everyone obviously no no yeah the um i just heard to um to try not to and and i know this isn't easy either but keep the worry and fear away um you know uh practice practice um 
retraining your brain is how he puts it. Like retrain your brain with the way your thoughts are, you know, because thoughts are days. very powerful. 40 days to rewire that thought. Like you could just, if you have a worrisome thought, replace it with, place it. What could happen? I'm an eternal being. And they keep saying yeah. that, not in church, but what the fuck is that going to happen? <laughs> you know, to me, what's the worst, right? I'm an eternal being. And that'll work. Not around your mother either, please. <laughs> or your grandmother. <laughs> or your children. They're probably saying it more than you are. All right. Um, will the list from the Epstein Black Book be revealed I, so i'm hearing there's potential that a hacker does this this year yes mm -hmm. uh, Ooh, I, but i'm hearing yeah. i'm hearing it's from from a hacker not from it being released it it's feels like, like more and more it's like um i see a what's that called pandora's box and it keeps like opening a little bit yeah like there's a little bit at a time yeah, yeah. But there's gonna yeah. it feels like there's more and more um information that's I coming out a physical this year. black book too i'm sure some e email exchanges etc is what the hacker will reveal but there's supposedly a little black book physical book <laughs> and i i can't remember when we first interviewed him but it was something like in a cave or buried or something on the island mm -hmm. all right yeah, no eric said yeah there definitely is there there yeah. definitely is a physical a book but now it's been put onto um computer yeah they're looking at the email exchanges instead yep uh, will they find the actual physical book ever? I heard a long, long oh, time. Yeah. Pieces. Yeah. pieces. I, just be, um, I heard pieces. Archaeological <laughs> dead. All right. Any <laughs> progress on busting human trafficking? They go from. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So I am hearing <clears throat> yes, there's progress. Not the end of it, but progress. In 2024. Yeah. A lot of people, this is what I'm hearing. There's a lot of people doing work on this. It's a little bit under the radar that we're not kind mm -hmm. of seeing on the news. We're not, you know, hearing about, it's not being reported on certainly uh, because mm -hmm. lots of reasons for that, but um, you know, there are people working on this and well, it will continue to be. Well, it seems like it's gotten worse with the open border, the children that are trafficked. It's just mm -hmm. amazing. They, they open up these like slaughterhouses and they're all the, bunch of uh, ch child migrants forced to work that you know it's just awful yeah. anyway it's i got the it is going to take a lot of time um especially with everything that's been happening in this last year and the changes and mm -hmm. the border being opened and um it's just it, it's a like a um, ongoing process is what i keep hearing i hear yes they're working on it but not like it's not going to be it's like, you know no. yeah over right. with can, like that. can you tell us about inflation and the economy in 2024 i bet it'll be better in 2025 i'm getting but not maybe not so much in 2024 you know. Oh, you know what i keep getting and i get a lot of these questions um from different clients too about the housing market um mm -hmm. so um eric has um shown me like that's gonna improve a little bit with the with the um interest rates is what i get with that um and there also he shows something like with digital, like digital money they're trying to put out there, but um, it's still going to be like um, in, not complete. It's not going to be complete. It's going to be like the start of a change okay. with money hmm. is what I'm hearing. It doesn't feel like the price of food drops significantly. That's unfortunate. That's sticky say. inflation. Yeah. Yeah. That's hard. But it feels <laughs> like that kind of stays steady. I just keep getting like. It may never go down, really. Once yeah. it's, it's really hard to get those certain things that, that uh, are affected by sticky inflation. Yeah. Once you get people paying a certain price for something, it's, uh, I know. you know, easy yeah. to keep it there. Yeah. And I, I, when, when I go to a restaurant, which is not very often anymore because I'm too busy, but, uh, and they have a new menu. My husband's, Oh my God, the price has increased. We're never going to see the opposite. Oh, new menu. Look, they've decreased their prices. Not going to happen. Yeah. yeah no. Once they know that they can get it, you know what I mean, with anything, yeah. it, they know that people are going to pay it, you know. So there's an imbalance going on, he shows. He shows like this, they keep on trying to balance, and then it knocks you out of balance. Try to balance, knocks it out of balance. Mm -hmm. uh, will other sectors of the economy, like jobs, what about the interest rates, anything else you want to speak to on the economy? Oh, they'll, they'll probably ask more questions about that here. 
Some of, the things that, Go ahead. Some, oh, some of the things that he does show is like um, there's going to be a continued forgiveness like on on debt on some of the student debt. Okay. He shows that. So that's something good. You know, mm -hmm. I disagree with that. You signed a freaking contract. Why do I have to pay for your college? <laughs> I meant for those who owe it. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, no, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, why? Yeah. It's good for those who owe it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, like my, my daughter. Happy, but... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My, uh, my second eldest barely has two nickels together, but her, she gets to help pay for those idiots yeah. who, who got a degree in poetry and now expect, screw that. Yeah. I said, let them go bankrupt, you know. Just, so, uh, <laughs> what I said, I'm not going to pay my student loan. Well, you shouldn't have, shouldn't have signed the contract. <laughs> now, yeah. good luck getting a home, renting getting a car, et cetera. I said, let them default on their loans. Not fair. Um, what I was seeing just kind of with the whole economy thing is it really is tied to the election here. And there's this feeling of like nervousness. So kind Racing. of just like, yeah. yeah, like keeping like not a whole, I don't know, not like a whole lot because people yeah. are nervous of what's going to happen, you know? Yeah. I don't agree with his policies, but I'm really worried about Biden and his health. Because he's a human being. I care about him. Is he going to die before the election or is he going to get... I, as soon as you said that, Eric showed me that there is actually hospitalization sometime this year. I've seen. Will he survive? Yeah. yeah. I, I have a, Yeah. But, you know, that, again, is, you know, you can't really detect when someone's actually going to leave the planet. So... Well, yeah, of course not. Yeah. Uh, when will the re-evaluation of currency be announced to the public once it's... In Amended, will tier three and four be able to exchange? I don't know what that is. I have no idea. Is this exchanging through countries? Because he was showing me something with exchanging is getting, yeah. it's not going to be a lot better this year because there are going to be a couple uh, wars actually that start up on the other side. Oh, I think uh, I understand because a lot of my clients who are in South Africa or, um, or Buenos Aires, the, the valuation against the dollar is just horrible so maybe that's what they're talking about sort of making um, fair and equal exchange i don't think there's going to be a lot of a shift in that way yeah i, I get that so. same kind of either. freezing yeah. feel yeah. like yeah. i don't feel like a whole static. lot of like static yeah. Yeah. that's yeah. a good word for it static yeah okay um question for adrian paul white hi adrian you're so funny what is the status on et disclosure and any big happenings And, and what are ETs up to in 2020? This has been happening over the last few years, yeah. you know, coming yeah, out. I get, I get, I get that it yeah. is yeah. happening. Yep. Yeah. My sense yeah. Is and there's going to be, gonna like, be more. There'll be yeah. more this year. Yeah. 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 What yeah. I'm seeing, I mean, I see symbolically a lot, and I'm seeing like a faucet and it just like drips. Like we'll okay. see like this event here and that event there, mm -hmm. and it will be, it, it's going to come out. Well, like, on New Year's, attention. either New Year's Eve or New Year's Day, I can't remember. There was this event in a in or near a Miami, Miami. mall. Yeah, it was Miami. in a Miami was mall. ETs or, or was that just a hoax? So there was something to that. Yeah, okay. I got the same thing. I, I think yeah. there was absolutely. Um, it yeah. was a, a real event. Yeah. Yeah. Also, recently over Iran or Iraq, I get the I countries mixed up. There was this weird jellyfish like thing like a ufo but look it had looked like it had tendrils it it looked real Was well you know eric's saying that we have star beings went to the water. walking among yeah. us right yeah. now so right I mean, right this is happening all over the world so yeah the, the other thing that he has said to me before about this is like like people were saying oh there's more there's more ufo sightings there's more this there's more that and what eric has told me in the past is they've always been here they're just lowering their shields and mm -hmm. they're letting us see them more mm -hmm. they're yeah. not anymore, anymore. aware right right and you what i'm hearing too is the more um and i call it awake you know more people that wake up more people that are um able to tune into energy and be able to communicate yeah. better you know on an energetic level the more you're going to see this because you know it, 
our humanity, Eric says, is so violent sometimes with the things they don't understand. Yeah. And until yeah. there's a, like a better communication and understanding with us, you know, mm-hmm. it's they don't want to just like, hey, here yeah. we are, you yeah. know. Yeah. So. Yeah, I get that. Well, you know, also it's about opening awareness because like you know, when Columbus came on shore to the Taino people, they did not see the three ships at all because that was out of their reality. They looked invisible to them. And so, you know, that uh, decades and decades and decades ago, maybe that's a case of they didn't see UFOs that were actually there. So, well, so what's interesting is like in this, if we look at the snapshot of this hundred years, yeah. as far as like extraterrestrial belief, we've gone from a small fraction of people willing to believe it to way more than 50% of people who walk the earth now right. believe that there's something else. So that, right. In a snapshot of really even like 50 years, Eric is saying that's been a huge yeah. shift. Huge. Right. Right. I mean, right. I'm scared though. Why am I so scared about that? I'm really, my, I get ner- nervous stomach when I think about ETs. They're just uh, you were ETs to them. You know what I mean? I, know. Yeah. I think you were all ETs is what I'm we're hearing. Yeah. Yeah. It's just the, the unknown because that's yeah. something that is kind yeah. of right there at the cusp of like, yeah. Yes. You know, like not knowing ah! what to expect, not yeah. knowing what's going to happen. Right. That's what yeah. your, your fears from. Yeah. And I think most people are like that. All right. There's a rumor that in 2024, uh, there will be a new pandemic with a virus that's more mortal than the original. Uh, and there will be lockdowns and everything will be chaos. Is that true? Of course, this is the whole free will thing. So quantum probability. Uh, now I'm not getting, no. I'm getting no on that. Um, I, I think, that we've seen the biggest of it for a while, you yeah. know, in the 2020s. I think there will be some up, upheaval um, in certain ways, but not related to a pandemic is what I'm saying. Oh, so, as we're sitting here, I am hearing that we need to be careful of Ebola this year. Well, um, they just raided some place in, I think it was in Texas, where this Chinese um, uh, national who is a fugitive, they got him now, I guess, the inspector of the building saw this hose coming out. And said, what is that? That's weird. And, you know, went in and their fridge is full of Ebola uh, and oh, all sorts of just, okay. just all sorts of different horrible, horrible, horrible viruses and <coughs> engineered might human engineered mice and a bunch of stuff. So yeah. there's, you know what Eric just said, he was showing me when you said that is that there's, going to be a little bit not a lot but a little bit of exposure to some um private labs where people yeah. are messing with this kind of thing Careful. So, yes and and uh, just to clarify when eric said the thing about the ebola with me it did not feel like a huge thing oh we just may hear about ebola in the news again this year we need to find a way to kill all viruses just, there's got to be a way will they ever do that I mean, viruses have similar problems. Mm. They, no, I'm yeah. hearing no. I'm hearing no to yeah. killing them, but there will be better prevention um, for you know preventing us from getting them all. You know what I mean? Like, um, we'll be stronger. There's ways they're going to manipulate Sunlight, food. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's ways they're going to learn to manipulate like um, um, like early detection and prevention type things. Okay. You know, mm-hmm. and, and messing with DNA a little bit. And that that's for some other medical technology stuff, too, like medical changes. Well, when I was growing up, we loved to run after the mosquito fogger in our street. It was nice, warm mist. And we oh, were, my gosh. Oh, God. It was malathion then, right? But now I think oh. they should do just spray Clorox. And at the same time, they clean up <laughs> our streets, nice and white yeah. streets. <laughs> <laughs> All right, heard there will be an internet electronic, dis- there will be internet and electronic disruptions coming near in the near future due to a solar storm. Will it happen this year? I see small. I don't see something see big. Little. see little things, you know, here yeah. and there, which we've had. We, yeah. we do have that happen yeah. here, but nothing, I don't see anything big Okay, like, like that. I'd like to know more updates about solar storm activity in the next, this, the rest of this 2024 and what effects it will have on the earth and us as humans. And what about animals too? One thing I'm hearing is that there will be solar storms and lots of activity and there, it will affect 
just honestly the awakening of people. Oh, like something about the energy in particularly particular just kind of helps people wake up. Okay, so that's one thing I'm getting. Okay, I don't know if this. All I keep hearing is bringing it back down to our weather here on Earth. I don't know if the solar storms affect the weather here, but I am hearing that this is potentially. Yeah big weather year again like yeah, yeah that, i was hearing that too mm -hmm. i was yeah. hearing that too i was hearing um that there's like gonna be like a bigger shift this year planet yeah. planetary shift with uh weather like like some places that don't get snow will get snow some places yeah, don't usually like, get, yeah. floods, get floods earthquakes that kind of thing. That don't ordinarily get earthquakes like, yeah so inactive oh, fault lines yeah, yeah. Really I, I, and... I actually he's showing like uh western canada having a tornado that kind of thing yeah that is weird yeah, yeah. we'll see yeah. that's cool let's ask one more question and then we'll uh stop part one and go on to part two okay um which countries do you think we will need to pay attention to in 2024 for what's to come which i would hate answering those kinds of things uh i just got russia and india okay mm -hmm. for big changes for things to happen yeah. uh, good bad neutral um to china also not uh, I, was, I was gonna say there's always that one we know we got yeah kind yeah of there's always <laughs> something with them um yep with india um is not not that good as what i'm getting okay. like maybe war some kind of like war starting Iran and pakistan are uh Rattling sabers now. Uh, well, I heard my husband talk about that. I don't know if it's true or not. And then, and then I just heard like a change, like almost like a change in leadership, maybe in Russia. Mm. Ooh, good. Oh, unless it's somebody worse. All right, thank you, everybody. <laughs> Courtney Dilling, <laughs> Jennifer thank Adorn, you. and Ginger Bailey, our wonderful guest, and our lovely. Thank Eric. you. You guys hit the notification thank you. bell so you don't miss part two. All right, love you all. Love you, Eric. Says love you. Love you.